This day in Sioux Falls history is brought to you by Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry, the oldest jewelry store in South Dakota, using time-tested techniques to restore and repair jewelry and using the latest technology to create custom pieces. Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry, 325 South Phillips Avenue in downtown Sioux Falls. It was on this day, March 14, 1844, we wish a happy birthday to one of Sioux Falls' early pioneers, Clark G. Coates. Coates almost had the distinction of building the first post-frame house in Sioux Falls. But that honor falls to his neighbors, W.S. Bloom, who started building his house after Coates, but finished before him. Either Coates built slowly, or Bloom was a fast builder. Although he didn't win the house building race, Coates lived the pioneer's dream in Sioux Falls, starting off with a small piece of free land awarded by the government and working that land until it afforded him the income to purchase more land and expand. He would own and work hundreds of acres before long. Coates arrived in 1869 and pretty quickly saw the need for more entertainment options in the fledgling young city. To meet that need, Coates purchased land that would become Riverdale and parts of Cherry Creek Park and developed the first grandstand and fairgrounds in Sioux Falls. He regularly hosted horse races, bicycle races, and as they came of age, motorbike races on his property. It was Coates who came to the rescue when Sioux Falls won the contract to host the state fair for six years. But we'll talk more about that on March 19th. This day in Sioux Falls history has been brought to you by Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry. Hi, this is Thomas James with Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry. We're absolutely honored to be able to look back on the history of Sioux Falls because we feel we're part of that. But we always look forward to the future and working with your grandchildren. It's more than jewelry, it's love. Come and see us at Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry at 325 South Phillips Avenue, downtown Sioux Falls.